Hey there folks, today we are gonna talk about some of the most haunted plants in Indonesian folklore. In these tales, it is believed that certain plants have the ability to attract ghosts and some are even thought to be the favorite shelters of spirits. First up, we have the banyan tree, which is said to be a hotspot for ghosts. This plant is seen as a symbol of the spirit world, and it's believed that ghosts use the roots of the tree to travel between the world of the living and the dead. Next on our list is the bamboo plant. In some parts of Indonesia, bamboo is thought to be a natural shelter for ghosts. With the sound of the wind rustling through the leaves, said to be the voices of spirits. The banana tree is also believed to be a common spot for ghosts to take a refuge. In some areas, People avoid planting banana trees near their homes in fear of attracting unwanted spirits. Moving on, we have the coconut tree, which is seen as a sacred plant in some Indonesian cultures. However, in other regions, it is believed to be a gathering spot for ghosts. Finally, we have the durian tree, known for its strong, pungent smell. According to folklore, this odor attracts ghosts. And if you sleep under a durian tree, you may have bad dreams or even be visited by a ghost. Just so you know, the article I just shared about haunted plants in Indonesian folklore was written by my friend Aryo. He is really into this stuff and has done a lot of research of the topic. So I thought it would be interesting to share with you all. Big shout out to Ario for the cool article. Thank you, Ario. So there you have it folks, these are some of the most haunted plants in Indonesian folklore. Do you believe that these plants have the power to attract spirits? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.